Hello and welcome to this week's Coffee Vlog. It's now Friday the 17th of September. Uh, it's 8am, uh, just getting ready for busy Friday. Um, so yeah, it's been um, quite a busy week this week, last weekend, um, spent most of the weekends at um, Great Horton Bank Park, or Horton Bank Park, I can't remember which it is. Um, which um, I'd heard about, but I'd never actually been to before. And uh, the boy wanted to go with his friend magnet fishing, but he wanted to go to a different lake to the one that he'd been to before. So I thought, I'm sure there is a lake near us, but up just up the road. So I looked up, and sure enough, there is one. So we walked up in the end because it was so close. Um, uh, and it's kind of amazing because I've driven past it, it's at the top end of Cooper Lane, pretty much opposite where the petrol station is there. Um, but never ever seen it, I mean driven past many many times. Uh, and the main reason is because it's in an old stone quarry, open stone quarry. So it's literally down the side of where you are. Um, there's a cliff face there because obviously they mined all the stone out and made a cliff. So. Um, where the road is, it although it's just the other side of it, it's just the other side of it, and then 150 foot down or whatever. Um, so we found a little tiny entrance, which is probably why I never noticed it because it needs a tiny entrance, which is chained off from cars uh, because they had a lot of problems with the car park. Because again, that goes quite a way down um, before you get to the car park, so it was very secluded and out of the way, and that um, caused the obvious issue of a secluded car park at night. Um, so they've now chained up the gates but there's just enough gap for people to walk through for public access. Um, so I went in, went down and then you, from the car park bit you go down another little walkway around and down and you get to the lake right at the bottom that they built after they finished mine. Um, so it was really nice. Um, you can kind of walk around the rim of the mine at the top um, and you can still see where the stone is that they were mining out. Uh, there's lots of sort of stone blocks around that sort of part back to the history of the mining. So yeah, it was a really nice little place and so close. I can't believe all the time being up there. Um, never actually been around to, or got around to finding this little sort of a gem of a lake and a walk um, with all trees and things. So yeah, it was lovely. Um, did that last weekend. And um, yeah, well enough, the other thing I'm doing a lot more now than I ever did, um, of all the years living around the area I'm in, is um, walking, because the boy wants to go places now, or go with his friends and whatnot. Um, so I tend to walk around with them. Um, and you see so much more of an area when you walk around it compared to driving around. Uh, I've seen so much stuff I never knew was there and different little parks and you know, all these snickets and things to get to different areas. Um, and the other thing about walking around, you know there's people garden, you see what they're doing, <laughs> what they've got going on in the garden. Uh, um, so yeah, it's been, uh, that's been quite fascinating. Uh, work, back to work, obviously busy week again, um, have a lot of roasting on, done a fair bit, a couple of days with this beast, um, stocking up um, on the big blends um, and some single origins as well, Things like the early chef which is really popular. So uh, this has been going and the little roast has been going every day as well, so we've been uh, pretty much flat out. Um, also, I've been getting on with the training room painting, finally. I had considerable delay from me getting the roof up, just because the weather turned nice. I didn't want to be stuck in here. Um, but now we're, uh, I've got on with it again, got quite a lot of painting done, a bit under pressure because I've got people to train on Monday we're coming, and I wanted to try and look reasonable. The point of making it look reasonable with the new roof was for people coming. Uh, and now they are coming up and I'm madly <laughs> finished. I should do. I should do eventually. Uh, so coffee. 
El Salvador. Do they? It's good, actually. Got a bit. All the coffee we do is good. But, uh, yeah, this is nice. Kind of a lighter coffee. Bit of a fruity end to it. Maybe a little natural sweetness as well in the El Salvador. Who else? Nice coffee. So, yeah, so it's been pretty much all on work, 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 paint, paint, work, paint, uh, repair, and of course the usual answer emails and sort of stuff out and try and think of new things to do as well. It, it all happens. Um, so, yeah, it's been pretty hectic. I do have some words from Mr. Nellis. He did send some last week, but I had past four, which I couldn't really do anything with today. Uh, so we've got new words from Mr. Nellis. My thing for you to talk about on your pod. I'm going to Alton Towers with Paul tomorrow after a year's break. Well, I hope the weather uh, is, is tomorrow today. So he sent this last night, so are you Friday? I hope the weather holds out here. It's looking pretty nice today, actually, so it'll be a good day. Postman Pat's 40th anniversary. Uh, well, dear. Thank you. Jack D off the telly coming to the Victoria Theatre on the 14th of May next year and did you used to watch the Jack D, D show on Channel 4? Yes, I did. Which Windsor in Bradford do you go to as do you go there or the Premier Lockers first? No, I don't go to Windsor's in Bradford anymore because we were way too far out. No. I normally go to Lockers which is um, just up behind me at home um, and they added a second bank so they've got like 40 odd to go at so that should be plenty. The problem I've actually had though is the internet connection link appears to have gone a bit wonky so I've had a number of times when I've been going and scanning them and it's sort of going scanning and then normally open the locker but I'm going to scan it and it brings up a little spinny wheel and it spins and spins and spins and then sometimes it eventually opens the locker and sometimes it says no communication and then I've got to try a different box and a different one and a different one and eventually one will start working again and when one starts working again all the ones that tried that didn't work start working again which is bizarre um, and then I've had the odd few that have scanned in but don't come up on the tracking which again is a bit perplexing because it doesn't register that it's put it in the locker even though it has put it in the locker um, and on that occasion they do still get delivered just I don't have any tracking about that so that's a bit odd as well so although the, the one up near me and I'll be going there tonight is convenient it can take forever if I've got 30 odd parcels and each one is just going yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I have this week if I've not had too many to sort of carry up to Windsor's here, I've been coming to Windsor's here in the morning, um, just because it's instant then, and I, I just sort of hope that they'll sort the one out near me um, at some point, because it's nearly every time I go now it's really slow, so I don't know what's up with the internet on it or what it is, but we'll see what happens. So, uh, so yeah, Windsor in Halifax, or the one near the shops near me, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a one-stop shop or something like that. Uh, so was the tank engine race for the soda cup, is that a new one? Like, it was so many years since, <laughs> we were talking about Thomas the tank engine, because Callum, when he was young, we got loads of Thomas the tank engine, I got like, all the die cast model characters as you could think of. I've just got the biggest collection of Thomas die cast models in the world. Because I just kept picking ones up off eBay mostly. You know, new ones, little new sets and whatever else. Or when you're trying to find a specific character you haven't got to make a set up for. There's been a film and you wanted them to like recreate the film with other models and so, um, so I've got masses of this Thomas the Tank Engine stuff, which um, I won't, I certainly won't give away um, because there's so much value in it. 
so I'm going to have to debay it off slowly somehow. Um, I mean, I was kind of thinking about keeping it, but I don't think it's going to be very interesting in some in the future now. Now he's getting all, uh, he's gone up schools and everything. Um, we don't really have the space to be keeping stuff like that around, so. So I will have to, to brace the fact that I've got, and there's hundreds and hundreds of the things, so I don't know if I'm going to have to group them up or. I just can't imagine trying to list each one individually. Oh, it's just, I wish I'd never started thinking about that. That's all your fault, Richard. Uh, when did you last go to Glor Scandinavia? Glor hasn't existed since December 29, Richard. You keep asking about it. <laughs> it shut before COVID. Um, I think mainly because he went back to Scandinavia. Um, Jeremy's at the boat house. Uh, well, it was a few weeks back I went there last. Copenhagen, uh, well, staff while I was away, because I was away, so someone had to go there. Lightcliff Tea Room, staff again while I was away. Mandarin Bear, they've not really had any coffee at the Mandarin Bear uh, since they reopened again, but I think they're just focusing on alcohol sales now. They're not really doing anything other than that. Victoria Craft Beer again, staff when I was away. Blondin's just before I went away. Did you used to do Pass the Parcel? Uh, Yes, everyone does pass and pass, Richard. Colorize, oh God, yes. No, you, every single different article you read, it's either doom, gloom, misery, new lockdown, plan B, plan A, plan C, plan Boris. Um, who knows what's gonna happen? Um, it's all looking decidedly not good, to be perfectly honest, because they're already saying hospitals are pretty much overwhelmed, even though there isn't that much infection rates about. They're overwhelmed because they're still trying to catch up with all the people that got ill or developed illnesses while there was COVID and couldn't go to the hospital because of COVID, so they just made them get worse. Uh, so yes, it could be a very grim winter um, as things go, or it could be back to masks back to something else, or who knows, we don't know really. We will just have to um, wait and see what that brings. So, um, I have got loads of painting to do, and I've not got much time left to do it in, because I've been studying talking, so um, I think we'll leave it at that. So, have a good weekend, week next week, uh, and I'll catch you in next week's Coffee Blog. Okay? See ya.